it's not just one wolf eating, it's often an entire pack, which could be up to 15 or 20 animals, all just tearing apart this carcass. So yeah, sometimes we get to the points and it's immediately obvious, oh, they killed something here. Um, but other times it's not that obvious. So if they're eating an adult bison or an adult elk or something, then the bones are really big and, th and hard to chew through. Their horns and antlers, and they have really thick fur that they're not really interested in. But other times, if they've just eaten a calf, which isn't that, uh, that old, then it, its bones are really soft, they're really thin, so it's really easy for the wolf to just crunch it up. And, and wolves have incredibly powerful jaws. So they can crack open a bison bone, but, uh, but they don't necessarily want to eat that as much. But so for the calves, they'll just eat everything. So a lot of the times when we're at a calf kill, everything we find, we can hold in our hands like this. So this picture is everything we found at a kill. So often it'll take a lot of detective work and searching. So what do we do once we found the or once we know that it's a kill site? So we figure out who they ate and we identify the species. So here we have an elk on the left and then a bison on the right. And that's often pretty obvious who they ate because um, they have very distinctive skulls. 